Okay, you guys ready to hear the end of the story? Did you make a prediction about what you thought was going to happen? What do you think should happen? Who do you think Ribsy belongs to? This, his previous owner or to Henry? That's a good question. This is a toughie. So, I have my birthday money that you can take. He held out a $5 bill to Henry. Five dollars? I wouldn't sell Ribsy for a million dollars. Oh, I didn't mean for you to sell him, said the boy hastily. I meant the money to help pay his expenses for the last year. I know it isn't enough, but it's all I have. Henry felt sorry for the boy. He could understand why he would want to keep a smart dog like Ribsy. But Henry couldn't part with his dog. Nothing exciting had ever happened to him before and look at all the things that had happened this year henry knelt and put his arm around his dog's neck you wouldn't want to leave me would you ribsy you wouldn't want to leave clickatat street would you ribsy licked henry's face the stranger knelt and snapped his fingers dizzy you want to come home with me don't you ribsy looked at him wagged his tail and said woof i guess he likes both of us sighed henry but I don't care. He ran away from you, and I found him. That's right. Just like I said, finders keepers, losers weepers, said Mary Jane. But I raised him from a pup, and my mother and father and kid sister miss him too. But he likes, he likes to meet me after school and play with the kids. Henry paused to pet the dog. Then he said slowly, maybe we should let Ribsy decide. Sure, said Scooter. That's a good idea. Don't worry, Henry. He'll choose you. That seems fair enough, agreed the boy. How shall we let him choose? I know, said Scooter. Leave Ribsy where he is, and each of you go 20 squares down the sidewalk in opposite directions. Then, when I say go, you both start calling at the same time. Whichever one Ribsy goes to gets to keep the dog. Okay, Henry, oh, agreed Henry. He felt all quivery inside. Sounds fair to me, agreed the boy. Oh, Henry, what if he doesn't choose you? Asked Beezus fearfully. Don't worry, said Mary Jane. He won't want to leave Henry. Scooter held Ribsy by his collar. Henry counted 20 squares down the sidewalk toward his house. The boy walked 20 the other way. They both turned and faced the dog. Henry's mouth felt so dry he was afraid he might not be able to call. Scooter turned to the boy. Say, you don't have any meat or anything in your pockets, do you? He asked suspiciously. No, I don't. Cross my heart. How about you, Henry? Scooter was going to be fair. Henry gulped. No, me neither. Okay, we want to make this a fair contest. Good luck, Henry, shouted Beezus. Thanks, said Henry weakly. Scooter turned Ribsy toward the street, so he was facing neither Henry nor the strange boy. All right, you guys. Ready? Get set. Go. He took his hand off Ribsy's collar. Here, Ribsy. Here, Ribsy. Come on, Ribs. At least Henry's voice worked. Here, Dizzy, Dizzy, Dizzy. The dog's former master snapped his fingers. The dog looked at Henry. He looked at the other boy. Then he sat down to scratch behind his left ear with his left hind foot. Ribsy, wailed Henry. Come here. Here, Ribsy. Here, Ribsy. Come, Dizzy. Come, Dizzy, called the boy. Ribsy stood up and took a few steps toward the boy and wagged his tail. The children groaned. Ribsy, shouted Henry with a sinking feeling in his stomach. Ribsy stopped, turned around, wagged his tail and said, Woof! Attaboy, Ribsy, shouted Henry. Go on, Ribsy, screamed Beezus. No coaching from the audience, ordered Scooter. Ribsy took a few steps toward Henry. Then he looked back at the other boy. Horse meat, Ribsy, horse meat. Here, Ribsy, here, Ribsy. At the mention of horse meat, Ribsy looked at Henry. Here, Dizzy, Dizzy. Then the boy had an idea. Here, Ribsy, here, Ribsy, he called. Hey, you're cheating, objected Henry. I'm supposed to call him Ribsy. There wasn't any rule about what we should call him. That's right, Henry, agreed Scooter. Look, he's turning around, shouted Mary Jane. But Ribsy only turned around to chew at a spot near his tail. 
He bit at the flea, sat down, and scratched behind his left ear again, then stood up. The boys kept on yelling. With a tired sigh, Ribsy sank down on the sidewalk, put his head on his paws, and closed his eyes. <laughs> the children groaned. Don't go to sleep now, Ribsy, begged Henry, who was so scared his hands felt cold and damp. Ribsy opened his eyes, and without moving his head, turned them first toward the strange boy, and then toward Henry. Come on, Ribsy, they both coaxed. Slowly, Ribsy stood up, and after a backward glance at the stranger, trotted eight squares down the sidewalk toward Henry. He paused, scratched again, and trotted the remaining squares to Henry. Then he sank down with his head on Henry's foot and closed his eyes again. Ribsy had chosen Henry. The children cheered, but Henry couldn't say a word. He knelt and hugged his dog. I knew he'd choose you, Henry, crowed Mary Jane. I just knew it all the time. My, but I was scared for a minute, said Beezus. The other boy looked so disappointed that Henry couldn't help feeling sorry for him. I'm glad Ribsy wants to stay with me, said Henry, but I'm sorry you have to lose him. He's an awfully good dog. I hate to lose him, too, but I guess I can't complain. It was a fair contest. The boy threw his leg over his bicycle. Say, do you suppose I could come over to see him sometimes? Sure, any time you want. Thanks, I'll be around soon. The boy rode off down the street. Oh, I feel bad for that boy. But I would have felt bad for Henry if Ribsy had chosen the other kid. It was a tough one. The children all crowded around Ribsy to pet him. I sure am lucky, said Henry, but he had me scared for a while. Jeepers, I don't know what this neighborhood would have done without Riz Ribsy, said Beezus. Come, come on, now that Ribsy is Henry's for keeps, let's think of something we all can play. And that's the end. All done. Hope you liked it. Are you ready to take your AR quiz? This is the easiest quiz number in the world to remember. 34. That's how old this book was. Number 34. Quiz number 34. Write that down. Go take your AR quiz and see how many words you get. Good luck.